All right, let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, I've been taking a little bit of a break recently. Uh, I had to finish up some work I was supposed to finish a few days ago, <laughs> but whatever. So let's see. Uh, last time we, all right, we went to the castle and we saw a little flashback. We saw the other one nine. 9s or no not 9s a a1 a2 i don't know the other one the other robot sorry android <sighs> we got a little bit of back history on, on the whole why the king was a baby and yeah we're just gonna chill out oh yeah we get we get uh damage numbers now because i'm awesome and i leveled up this sword Hmm. Trying to figure out how to hold on. Oh, I guess not. How to change her, her stuff. I'm sure there's a way. Actually, you know what? I think I should have enough to go and, and do the Kung Fu guy. I know it's our job and all, but these resistance types sure do use and abuse us, don't they? It's like they see us as a couple of gophers or something. No complaining about your work. Exchanging information with the resistance is a vital part of our mission. Besides, being a gopher is safer than being locked in combat all the time. Not dying beats dying any day. Yeah, that's true. Oh no. Oh that's good that's a bummer. Oh, that's actual blood too. Huh. I can't believe I didn't. Uh. Yeah, so I looked up uh, if there was a way to kind of change 2B's outfit or whatever, right? And it was just like a wash with people that are like, oh, have you tried checking the menu? Oh, you can just do it in the menu. Just do it like that. So he's like, I meant like the B side, right? <laughs> Like, people are so easy to do. I don't know what it is. I think it's just, like, there are a lot of people who don't, you know, get, like, called out on their stupidity a lot, and they just kind of, like, wait for their opportunity to sort of call somebody else out, even if it's just, like, you know, they, they like, jump at the opportunity. They're like, ah, 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 this guy. So you get a lot of people that are sort of jumping to conclusions just because they really, really, really want to tell somebody I told you so. Oh, you know, I wonder if I could steal that guy. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> 
this guy see me yet? Nope. In the clear. Okay. I think. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Alright. There's another guy over there. I'm not sure how good he would be in the robot wars, though. I'm just looking for somebody that doesn't get, like, stun-locked. Or whatever. I mean, I'm sure if I spent a significant amount of time trying to do the whole robots. And... Hmm. Hello. Real. Now here's the question, how do I get that turned on all the time for everything, even if I don't have the weapon up? I don't know about you, but I really, really like damage numbers. Even though I rarely pay attention, it's just kind of like a... Oh. It's a good indicator on to like, you know, give you some perspective room for improvement and such. Alright, so that guy... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so if I steal those guys, then it'll give me the gun. I can't, I can't stop thinking about this robot arena. Rock'em sock'em. If I could steal those guys. Hi! How's it going? I'm not sure. I could try. <laughs> I just kind of stay lost. What you got? Have you tried drifting a pig?
show. Still unnoticed. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, on the map you only have four missions appear. Two of them are from the arena I've done. One is secret letter. That don't open, so I don't want to make it. The game going okay. Oh, this is just a okay. I think I have a secret letter. <laughs> Do you have a secret letter from? Oh wait, are you talking about that? Uh, what is it? Uh, it's it's like uh, it's, it's one with like latitude and longitude numbers on it. Hold on. Yeah, you might need to. Uh, I don't know how far you've gotten in the game. I don't want to spoil anything because... Uh, but I would say that like, usually if you think that you missed an opportunity or something, there'll be another opportunity later that you just don't know about. Are you, are you on the, are you on this playthrough with this guy? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the best thing I could tell you, uh, is you, you'll get an up another opportunity to sort of alone. Oh, maybe, are you farther than me? Because <laughs> if you're farther than me, then I, I can't, I don't know. This is, uh, have you beaten the game? I would say just beat the game. Like, I don't I don't want to give anything away, but I would say I mean if you're stuck cuz I, I was stuck and I like to do side quests and stuff the first, you know, uh before. Um and I just I was like fuck it, you know, I'll come back or something and I'll be started. And then they give you they give you sort of another opportunity with more tools to sort of open up areas that were inaccessible before, I guess. That's the best way to say it. I still don't know because I, th I think there's still more to it. Like, I don't know. 
There's nothing, there's no big old hole. Big ass hole. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Let's see. Huh. I gotta sneak up on this guy. Damn it. <laughs> huh, and you tried like looking at a different angle? I'm sure you did. NPC. Huh. Yeah, I'm 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 at a loss, man. <laughs> I wish I could help you. Oh. Oh yeah, that guy, the, the ninja guy. Yeah, there, there's a few ways to get up there. I used to have to go like all the way around like on the buildings and then I just started uh what uppercut canceling. <laughs> and then like I think that's that's a lot farther than double jump, but yeah. Ooh. Pretty easy, yeah. I mean unless you're being watched. <laughs> Actually, I think you get some extra verticality from that right there. But yeah, usually I don't have a problem with this. Damn it. Yeah. I don't know, I, I really like the momentum or movement in this game. It's like, I had this game for the longest time, and my buddy was like, oh, hey, yeah, I played it, blah, 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 blah. You know, and he didn't, like, emphasize how good this game actually is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I beat the game once. That's why I, I, I didn't know how far you were. Because I didn't want to give anything away. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just tripping around. I got a lot of uh, missions to do, as you can see. But, you know, I'm just having fun. Actually, you know what? I should probably go get these things, huh? Go to the factory.
No, it's like, okay, I, it's like a new game plus, right? But you you get to keep all your stuff, right? Um, and then they just like, like the I I don't know how to say it. it's like a time loop sort of thing, except not really canon. So you go back and you get all the missions, but now you get like different tools to go into it. Like right now I got, you know, this dude, little, what's his name? I have a helmet on him. He doesn't actually look like this, but little 9S. Um, and then you get like different ways to do missions. I don't know if you can do everything on the 2B playthrough. I just kind of like, you know, went through. But I, I have a feeling that like after this, you get more and more sort of people, you know? But yeah, you get to keep everything. You get to keep your your drones, your uh, your weapons, all the upgrades that you did, and the, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think I don't know. I think it's just like like you you get the full story by going through every every perspective, you know. Because I mean, the first one, I was I was very confused. I. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you, you get the same, like, relative, like, like your your pods and stuff. I mean, you play a different character. Um, but, you know, all your weapons are, are the same upgrade. And all your, your uh, mods, I guess they're called. Your plug-in chips. You know, they're all here. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it, it really emphasizes the whole replayability. That's what I'm saying is, like, you know, if you're stuck on something, just beat the game come back you know <laughs> like all the quests show up again and it gives you like different ways to complete it you know uh you do lose access to some of the sort of story specific like terrain changes and stuff like when they when they attack and and the transport you don't get to like when you get it normally in the story so but aside from that, like you get you get all your junk, new game plus kind of stuff. Where's the factory? Yeah, this game is something else, man. Yeah, I can already tell there's going to be some sort of big story twist or something. Like, I don't even want to... Like, I've stayed ignorant so long for this game, just, like, not looking at any spoilers or anything. Like, just to appreciate it. I think I think it's, it's working out, but... You know, because I hate that. People are so just excited to, to... Oh, hey, did you know? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, man... Come on. Let, let people experience the game for themselves. <laughs> I always, I always felt that was kind of like a bad taste to just throw out spoilers in anything, movies or video games. Hmm. I'll tell you this. Cheskin is really doing it for me. Look at that. Uh, I think you get... You're able to get access with this guy. Because I know what you're talking about. You're talking about that door, right? And it's like... It has like a little panel on the side, right? I know exactly what you're talking... Because I was, I was having the same problem. Or you get that, that walkway, right? That's like vertical. And it looks like... Like there's a door on the other side of the walkway. You can tell. But you don't know how... Like you can't get to it. It won't let you. I was like stressing out about that too. I was like, how do I get in? It's like, oh, you need to get hacking. Blah, blah, blah. Like one of these, right? This one? I think this one is... No, this one's a story one, right? With the with the dudes. 
Yeah. God, I have such a bad sense of direction, too. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, I, I hate coming to the factory because it's just like a one-way ticket. And you gotta do this awkward camera angle. I think a lot of them are specific to the stories too, because like when you when you go in, you you see things from a different like you know like you hang out as this guy before Two B came and showed up, you know, so you explore different aspects. Yeah, I'm. It's like honestly. I'd rather have sort of 2B, because like this guy has a whole just skill set that it's locked out of just because he doesn't have the secondary and primary, like this one right here. Yeah, I don't know. It won't let me in. access it yet. It could be locked behind story, too. Just like that one over there um, by the sunken city or whatever. Yeah. But if I had to choose, I'd definitely choose 2B's playstyle over this guy's. Yeah, uh, they could be, you know, if you beat the game again, then the next character or whatever next tools you get. Yeah, because usually this guy, um, yeah, he just hack things. That's his whole deal. He goes and goes boop boop. Like this thing right here, this thing bothers me. Because you can see something on the other side, right? But you can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's just... So I don't know, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. Show me, oh, show you, show you what, my, uh, my loadout? Oh, you want, to, I do not know the way. <laughs> uh, let's see, the way to the, to the factory is just, I mean, the factory is pretty, pretty linear, right? You just come out here. I do not know the way. Actually, I don't even know if there's anything at the end of this for me. See, I don't like the map because it's very hard to tell where, like, the topography of things, unless you're, like, in it. <laughs> well, it makes two of us. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any... Well, you know what, it doesn't matter. I just hate coming to the factory because like once you go you, you have to go through all this stuff and there's no like quick access loop around or anything like that yeah it's not I think it, it's good because it like encourages exploration you know but oh my God. but it also makes it hard to kind of like navigate where quests are and stuff about you know kind of referring to the minimap also which I guess is cool. I think there's a chest up there. Yeah. 
I don't, you know, I, I could just be too stupid to understand, but. Oh, you know what? I think that's it. Yeah, so you kind of just, like, get a different perspective, I guess. Like, you gotta use, well, okay. Like, I read somewhere a long, long time ago, they said, like, mini-maps are kind of ruining modern video games. Two points. I'm not sure what you mean, two points. Oops. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't tell if it's like locked out or if it's just like there but undiscoverable, you know? Like you can't, you can't see it yet. Oh, look at, hold on. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Whoops. <laughs> this is reading the chat. Uh, I think it's because we came over here, right? And we just, we, we didn't, we met up with this chick after she had already sort of. Did I discover my... I don't think so. If I did, I would have named it something else. I'd name it like Bob or something. Bobby. Yep, I don't think I needed to come over here. Yeah, because remember there was like, uh, what was it? I don't know if you did the quest where you came over here and you had to find the, the girl's sword or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, like, once you're here, like, there's nowhere to go but back the way you game. Like, you can't teleport out or anything. There's no quick access, you're just gonna walk. And I hate that. Maybe, right? Okay, let's see. Well, what what point? Wait. Oh, there's one like way, way down. Look at that. I don't even know how to get down there. Maybe that's the door that you were talking about, right? It's like an elevator down to the... Yeah. I don't know, it could be just story-based, right? Like locked behind a story. Oh wait, hold on. Alright, I don't think we can get up there. Well, let's see, let's see, let's figure this out. Because we, I mean, we could both be wrong. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, never mind. nothing <laughs> oh look there's hold on we're, we're on to something hold on hold on look at that there's loot over there what coils what coils coils what coils now you got me all confused Man. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. So, we got that. I mean, we're not changing that, obviously. But we could go to a big sword. Large sword. This is interesting though. I didn't I didn't know that these were connected like that. Wait, what do you mean? I only found one of them. I only found the one in the desert. Ah, uh, this is the only one I got. Hold on. Oh wait, where is it? Yeah, I only got a missile. Actually I should probably yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, I think... Okay, so you, you said something about a letter, right? And it's the letter with all the numbers on it you get in the mail? I, I don't know how to decipher that. I'm not, I'm not smart enough. There's other ways to. Can we just? No. Yeah, I, li I like the mallet too a lot. Mallet is super versatile because you can just like, like you get. Okay, hold on. Um, I didn't know about this until recently. Maybe you don't either, but you could just like, uh, what is it? Hammer, right? Hammer. Like you could just kind of combo, right? You just combo, do your combo, right? And then, like, cancel it with that and continue your combo. <laughs> like, it is so good. I mean, with, with something faster, obviously. So you're just like, da da da. And just, like, hold it down. It's good for, like, the, the robot fight, or the android fights, too. Not the android, but the, you know those blonde-haired Sephiroth guys or whatever? The little twins. <laughs> Whatever they are. <laughs> Creepy guys. Like, you hit them with that, and they just go flying. And it hits everywhere, too. Even in the sky. I don't know, I like that, and I like the I like the grappling hook, just because... You know, it's a grappling hook. <laughs> uh, Mirage is pretty good for, like, aerial enemies, because I think it gives you an extra boost in the air. So, like, if you do it, it gets you out of that, um... Sort of like the iframe recovery, you know? And it interrupts those other guys' counter, too. The, the little white guys. The, the white-haired guys. Whatever they are. Like, they'll do that physical counter, and if you do the mirage around it, it'll, it'll just eat through that. Like, they don't even... Uh, did you go to any place that didn't go on in the factory? Uh, I don't think I've been back here since then, but I've, I mean, I mean, I've been, I've been all the way up to the King's Palace so far right now. I think I just left there. The whole, you know, you know, the one with the castle and everything. Oh, hey. I didn't know these chests respawned. But no, I mean I haven't I haven't been back to the factory. I have a feeling like 
pretty much my my theory, or not my theory, but my rule with the factory is that I only go back there if I have a quest. There. Like, if I have to go back there, and then it's just like two or three quests, just because I don't... I hate that place. <laughs> I like this guy, though. Yeah, you might have, to, I mean, it could just be they gave you the quest, um, and then you gotta sort of, you know, do it next time or whatever. Like, you unlock the, the, so like with this guy, too, like, or the, or the other Yo Yora rebels, you know, you gotta, like, hunt them down. What is Tubi doing? Oh, oh, right. I got that one. But yeah, it's like... What is she doing? She's just... Tiptoeing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like... Uh, it's like Castlevania or something like that. Like, you know how, how you'll go through an area and there'll be a door that you can't unlock yet? I think that's sort of the, the concept behind this, is like, you'll think about it, you'll think about it, and then you'll get a tool where you're like, oh, hey, I can open this now, you know? And I think that's that's where it, uh, that's where the appeal is, I guess. You know what, I'm just, let's see, where are we? I wouldn't stress about it too much. I think you're doing alright. Especially if you only have, like, four or five missions, like, I got a bunch of missions everywhere. Oh, I know about that. <laughs> uh, you can't do it with this guy. Okay, so check it out. So this guy doesn't get it. This guy, you know, he, he's got an outfit on, but he... <laughs> She still keeps all her clothes and everything, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I... Dude, she's just... Look at, look at how she's walking. She's walking so weird. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, what quest we got? <laughs> getting distracted. There are a lot of hostile enemies here. Why are some machines so aggressive while others couldn't care less about us? <laughs> I, every time I've tried to use that, it just, it fails. I know, and look at her, she just, not only is she tiptoeing, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Yep, there it is. But. She she keeps all her clothes. They're just kind of ripped, you know. Wait, how many times can I do that? Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> Look at her, still tiptoeing around. That's so weird. All right, let's. B2 got that booty. Yeah, I remember reading an article way, way back that she has, like, they use, like, 100,000 or 10,000 polygons just for her ass. <laughs> like, like, they were so focused on, on making that the most perfect thing. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Damn. She's like tiptoeing. It's really strange. I've never. It's like she she got Achilles tendon slash or something. Look at that. Oh shit. Oops. Wait, where am I going? Oh, I don't remember this. 
Huh. Oh, you know what? This might be to the forest? Not the forest, but the... What's that? The little kitty land? Oh, this is the... Oh, this is the fun part. I think. I don't know, you get all these flashbacks and stuff of things you already did, so you're like, hey, I recognize that, but then... I mean, because, like, the first one was, like, a fever dream. I had no idea what was going on. Why this... must we read all these books, brother? Oh, here we go. Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. <sighs> I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? <laughs> Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. These guys remind me of those those brothers from um, Advent Children. He was like, quit crying. <laughs> The antenna in the back of the building. Uh, you you have such strange sentences. I I, I really dig it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, antenna, antenna. Not here, right? Over at the the main one. You were saying the one with the the cot and the sleeping. Nothing woodpecker. There's another of those machines. I suppose it's going to attack me, right? This machine type purposely seeks out androids in order to enact revenge. It should be dispatched immediately. Got it. Uh oh. <laughs> uh I don't think I can go yet. I went to this guy's arena, the the nine S's arena, right? The bedrock here was bombed out in the last war. Uh, like but I haven't, I haven't been to 2B's yet. I'm hoping result. that if I get to 2B, uh, 2B's arena over here in the back, right, after we... Oh, you know what, though? Doesn't 9S disappear at this point after we, we do this whole part? He goes and he launches a missile. Yeah, but I, I... Well, actually, hold on. I had, I had a hard time. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think I made it past the... Shit. The second one. Oh, you know who this is? This is that one girl from, uh... The first part. The golden one. That's right. Ooh. Dude, 
Okay, so I was like with you on that, right? And then like machine cores just come by so easy and those sell for like 10,000 a pop. You just gotta kill like the snakes or whatever, you know, or just like any sort of boss, hard enemy. Wait, hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, look, here's another one right here. That's absurd. Machine cores. Alright, so let's see. I got. Right, 132,000. Uh, and where are the machine cores? Oh, uh, oh, wait. Oh, here we go. 17. And these sell for like, I think 10,000 each. So That's I stopped history. fishing <laughs> and I just started killing. And yet, I... These guys too, I think these guys, uh, the snakes, they drop machine guards pretty frequently. They're just a pain in the ass to kill. I think, I think there's something else to fishing too. I think you could sometimes get materials and stuff you can't get otherwise by fishing. So, it might be smart just to be fishing all the time. Or the scanner too. Where is this guy? Oh, he's down here. Like, I think if you walk around with the scanner, it, it's just... Like you, you find things that that Target you can't get any other way. Is that what we need to protect? Oh, that's cool. Let's take him out already, so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning oh. and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, Two B. It still feels good. Robots are people too. I just like how they fly with the hammer. <laughs> that is my favorite part. I think that's the last of the machines. All right, let's go. Let's go see about this. Two B nine S, come in. Commander. Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was sent to resupply yeah, has come yet. under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. 
I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I think after this whole part. Although I'm not sure because. Total slave driver. Whoops. If she didn't order oh, others around, oh, 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 oh. what kind of leader would she be? Look at this, look at this. If you say so. Hey. Alright, looks like we actually get to do it. Maybe I can now change our equipment and stuff. Yeah, see, I only made it to D-Rank. <laughs> oh, it's I gotta fight as a kid. Ugh. I mean, once I say to begin, we'll kick it off. We won't start during the explanation of how to start. Mm, I'm making this very confusing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is for real. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, I, I paused on this and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this when I become stronger and, and then I, I didn't get an opportunity. Dude, he just gave birth to that thing. He, he, I've never seen them do that before. <laughs> that is strange. That is strange. That's it. We're finished. Hey, look at that. Precious ear. So I think there's something to the fact that the machines are more human than the the androids, which is ironic. But you know, I mean, that's good writing, right? Let's see. You know, I think I'm going to switch off this, uh, the wire and go to, yeah, I, I really like Mirage, I'm sorry, but it's just really good. I think it's just because the iframes, honestly. I've never seen these guys before. Oh my god, these guys just make it. 
Irritating. Maybe a little Toho. Oh, this is a, the fast guy and the sonic guy. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no. <laughs> that guy cracks me up. He just he, he does the, the the comical little run with his feet. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. I wish I could I could play as two B. Unlock. All right, one more time, and then we'll, we'll carry on with the story. <laughs> that's that's brutal, man. You can't even touch those spears. There's like each time they hit you, they you can't dodge or dash or anything. You're just stuck there getting hit. Little cop, thick file. <laughs> Jesus, what to take to kill that guy? Alright, so I can't even touch those stupid spears. Nope, not even once. I should just hack 
Hack, 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 hack. Stick to my strengths, right? Whoa! Okay. Let's, let's see if we can take this guy down at the back. Oof. Alright, buddy. Okay, alright. Damn, this guy is difficult. I can't. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I couldn't have jumped in time. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back. That's all she wrote, folks. That's all she wrote, folks. Let's see, what, what level am I actually? I'm level 47, okay. So they should be around my level, but you know what? I don't know. Like, the way with this guy is that he relies so heavily on hacking. Uh, for ba I mean, like, it takes up an entire heavy slot section of his, of his kit, so. And I, I just think hacking is sort of a tedious. I mean, it takes away from the battle. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, when I come back here, I'll be able to have like the full sort of oh this this guy full arsenal you know like 2v heavy and light attacks and, and switching up and stuff like that full combat model you know not not that not that hacking I don't know it's pretty much just playing a mini game in the middle of a battle I really like this. When I first started, I'm not really, you know, great at bullet hells, right? But, you know, if it's gonna be bullet hell, I'd rather it be like a solid bullet hell without like a bunch of threading the needles through. I don't know. Like, that's what it used to be, like Toho and all those types of things, like Toho and. and I'm trying to think of that other one. <laughs> Gagara, maybe not. I don't know, it, it's like, you get huge map clearing sort of, you know, projectiles and you gotta like, figure out what your hitbox is and then sort of like, thread the needle through it and you gotta just like, dit, 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 very precise moments and it's just like, it's, it's, it's frustrating for me. So I'm glad that they give you an opportunity to sort of just kind of like, Blue Ridge 2. go full Request Gundam or whatever. Like most of the time, Our ship is taken damage these and is things just to as, like like a way to watch a, a cutscene without actually watching a cutscene. Like they just throw a few I enemies here or there, and in the Blue background Ridge things two. are going. Like nothing really stressful or threatening, just something to kind of fill the void, you know. Like you're not really in danger of dying at any point here. It's just, or maybe I don't know. Hold on. 
If I just sit still, will I die? Oh, it looks like I won't. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's primarily the, you know, I like the interactive cutscenes, but not like, really. Well, you do get XP, so it's not like it's nothing. But yeah, they have this like uh, sort of Gundam up a large tier scale enemy inbound. fighting game. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest yeah, I was of playing us. a bit. I forget what it's called, but I, I downloaded the demo and they have like two or three. It's not Excel Seed. It's something. But yeah, you, you just kind of like one v one somebody else, and you can turn to like a big old jet, and and it's like kind of feels like this, you know, except uh, the arenas are a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more confined, a little less. Uh, right, okay. oh. You know. Enemy aerial unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Hands down. I wish I could play as this guy. Well, that's new. <laughs> Big ol' submarine machine. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so yeah, this is... I don't know, I would say this is probably the pivotal point of the story when, when these guys split up at least last turn, so I want to see what happened on 9S's side. Ooh. Crap! It's blocking close-range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostel. We need to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Oh, <laughs> the, the butt the plug. That's quickly. right. <laughs> Oops. He's <laughs> like, destroy this. It's like... Sticking directly out of his butt. Not this one, but you know the other ones. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, they give you these really strange angles, like three quarters sort Enemy of. Data obtained from command. I don't. I don't Go even ahead. know. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. Basically. So it was like 300 and something years ago is when all the shit went down. Like that's when the king was, was he was like, hey, this place sucks. I'm gonna make a kingdom out of it. <laughs> kind of a weird logic, but you know, whatever. And this guy, 300 and something. Ah, here's a butt plug. I'll get you next time, Star Fox. Confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser Oops. strike. Oh. 
méchant. Yeah, this is such a weird angle. Like, okay, so it's a top-down... It, it's it's top-down gameplay, right? With with a side perspective. Like, like a... It's so... Don't worry, we'll take it from here. It's strange, it's awkward. It's not unwelcome, though. Let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. Okay. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. I don't know, force perspective. I mean, it, it's really hard to find games that do uh, fix cameras well. shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. Let's see. Oh, pink ribbon. Oh, I don't think I could use this. I got I got some new things, right? Guess not. All right. Thing's armor is too thick. Ooh, it's we a real gun. To be, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. And <laughs> then its stupid mouth. That's right. He did say that. That's pretty. Uh, it's pretty dumb. Hmm. <laughs> This is bad. How come how come you can't do that in combat? Just put up a shield. Are you all right, Tubi? That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids. But it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. We eventually marooned it deep in the ocean, but it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, 2B, I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, Tubi. This is gonna work. Peace. Tubi, right, this is all I'm going to see then. if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Does the time go?
Yeah, you see some of these like uh, professional bullet hell players. I, I don't really know what bullet hell games are out there. Really. Oh, shit. Uh, but you see them, they have like a whole setup. Like they're, they're, they're just like one big ass TV that's on its side. And, like they stream and it's just like incredible gameplay. Like I, 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 you can't even like keep up with your eyes. Like it's just, it's very difficult. <laughs> But yeah, these guys are like professionals. They just like do everything right. They've done it so many times that it's just perfect. Ah, very impressive. And I, I think it's like a super elite kind of... I don't know. Extremely elite sort of community of people who do that. Just because like you have to be like super precise. Like even more elite than... Well, elitist, I guess. Then, uh, Activate speedrunners and, and those types, you know. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Launch ability Fight. confirmed. That's pretty cool. I didn't think this would be so hard to control. Oh, I just Alert. need to drive it. <laughs> A collision at this speed is not recommended. This is just like a just cause. In the mouth. Fuck you, missile. At least that's what I thought I was gonna be able to do in just cause. I'm gonna be able to steal it. Signal lost. Well, that's a dead character. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. At once. To be. Nine S. Don't die on me. The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! Mother, mother, mother. But his voice never reached his mother. Damn, that's like Ogres. No, I'm a Wakfu. Ogres, is that his name? This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between this. Pod thought... 042 and Pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. Wait. Okay, so we had that. I don't know what that that cutscene means, though. Oh, I'm spacing out. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. One second. Yeah, I guess I guess they're just saying that so that you, like, when you die, you keep your memory. You know, or when the character went to be, or not to be, but nine us. I found myself in a bizarre memory storage area, stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth. A massive interconnect network. I've never seen anything like it. 
It must have been created by the machines. So then what am I doing here? I'm 9S. That's all I can remember. Oh, I get it. Okay, so the last time we did it, we had this little weird... What was it? It was some sort of hacking thing. And so when we could do this, it's how we go and find that info, I suppose. I wonder if this is how, like, when we first started, uh, we, we both blew up. So this is what you have to do. Your consciousness has to go and find your memories again. That's why they were kind of broken. That's interesting. It's very cerebral, very, very abstract. Is it emulation or is it like imitation or not um, imitation is, is it emulation or is it like are they just remembering are they doing this thing that I'm doing right here and sort of applying what it is or is it just like the natural course of all living things is to sort of go through these avenues of, of organization oh this is this is really cool Oh, okay. Well, there that, that answers that. Hmm. Interesting. That's that's really interesting. My interest is peaked.
Are these two, are Adam and you supposed to be like yin and yang, like two aspects of everything? Ah, this is, this is interesting. That's right, because this guy's just uh, hanging up there. So dark, so cold. Ninas. Nines, call me nines. ideal oh carry me dummy mommy oh that's Ray he, he didn't really stick around for most of the end I think most of it was just 2B and uh, Pascal right yeah I think all of it was except for the very very end huh Self hack. Ooh, <laughs> this right here. It's a bit kinky, isn't it? Proposal: Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. Fine. <laughs> she talks like to be. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe the robots are based off of each other. Yeah, yeah. 
Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. <sighs> you got it. I need some coffee. Right, this is how we fixed ourselves last time. Visual sensor diagnostics complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just gotta sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? Oops. Uh, forward. Forward. Oh, I knew it. Huh? What was that? Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all your high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know. Open a port to the server. I guess this is what androids see whenever they do things. It's all Tron-like. And not just a bunch of ones and zeros. <laughs> oh, this is pretty mm, cool, though. No time to examine everything. It's like a clock. Better stick to the main data nodes. Oops. Detected. Access log to Council of Humanity's lunar server. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. That's weird. That is weird. Why would they do that? To make it seem like humans are still alive. Oh. Detected. Your high unit storage records. 1S, 2B, 8H, 24S, 9S, 1, 2D, 11B, 12H, 11B. Wait, 11B is on there twice. So is 12H. Wait, hold on. Are these are are those the ones that I killed? Interesting. And one S is is no wait wait that's. What's the point of all this heavy security? All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks like everything else is here. Huh? A new port just opened. Uh oh okay. Oh, on the exact. Okay. <laughs> I should have known. That's that's interesting. Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorha Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access this data. Shut up, Man, I'm a hacker. This stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out too. Hacker man. Oops. An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Yeah. Oh. No, these documents are classified level S, confidential, and they're not to be disclosed to any person affiliated with Yohara aside from the commander. Got it. Oh. Deep. Huh. I just get the, the index. 
Looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? After a long period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be. <laughs> What was that? This game is fucking with my head. Crap! Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Ah, 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right, I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. Main terminal, got it. I think right now, uh, what happens after that? I think they go to the machine cult, right? The robots? Use of server administration room requested. Robot, robot, robot. Request granted. You may now use the device in this room. Hmm. The store? Okay, good. 2B's black box signal is still up and running. These comms are all messed up. I guess I'll have to break into the other side and take control. Sure do spend a lot of time as this little hacking arrow. Oh, that's right. He comes by as, as things. Oh, that's, this is cool. This is very cool. So yeah, if you're still watching, buddy, uh, it's like, this is where it's at. Yeah, these guys are weird. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, calm down. If I want to reach 2B, I'll need to reach the factory's lower level first. Can I? <laughs> All right, pray for Yomi. Good job, Yomi. Oops, I didn't mean that. Uh. Axel Gaxi. Oh man, I hate this part. I'm just not good at this. Uh, I mean, I'm doing all right now, but when I had to go fast. Hello. Ooh, you're rocking it, dude. Wait, this guy's got like a. No, no way. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Alright, let's try it. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I should get the guy with the gun. I think that'll go into the the arena info or whatever if I get a gun. 
or whatever this is. I hope these count. Uh, I could imagine they wouldn't. Oh, that's right. I seem to remember kept respawning or something. Okay, so I guess... Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade, if I can. You. Ah, oh, you... Okay, it's fine. Do I... need something? This guy's got two axes, that's pretty cool. <laughs> machine versus machine, I got a trophy, cool. Wow, this guy... I don't know what else can you do. That's cool, okay. Gotta figure out these all these machines controls. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Damn, okay. I guess I should have known. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to reflex these guys. I guess it makes sense, this way there's a whole bunch of corpses everywhere. Alright, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Speedrun strat.
What's this guy? What's your deal? Oh, this is sad right here. I don't like this. I don't like feeling. Whoa, look at this guy. Can I? Can I be him? Can I be you? <gasps> awesome. What's your deal, buddy? Oh. Alright, maybe I should. So I don't think he dashes like that one. I gotta, I gotta learn to experiment elsewhere. <laughs> Not in the middle of a big old hyd hydraulic press. We were having the hydraulic press channel anyways. That was pretty popular for a bit, and then there was like spin-offs, and everyone just kind of became over it. They're like, eh, I don't really care about hydraulic presses. That's okay. Yeah, he doesn't jump, not really. Wait. Oh, he flies. Look at that. Look at all these broken machines. Ooh. I'm just trying to get these guys for the collection. Fly. Definitely. Check out that. That's Hey, they even got like little airplane port and starboard things. Oh, cool, it's a bubble gun. <laughs> that seems really... Right, there we go. We got the Mexa Beam, we got the... Well, we got the bubble gun, and then we got the... Dodge this! Alright, cool, cool. This Mako reactor, right? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Oops, it's the wrong way. Oh, I can change it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'll just keep going. Oh, 
No. Yeah, I've got a cool little skirf. Alright, if I can hack this elevator and get it running, I can get 2B and everyone else out of Hack a mail. Appreciate it. Oh. Hacking into factory settings. <laughs> oh. I'd better secure hmm. an escape route. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. Very cool. Oh. There we go. First door unlocked. To be. Yeah, but what's Keep over going here? Straight. We'll do. Secret. Oh. Two thousand three. Oh. <laughs> huh. Disabled. The door's open. Keep moving. Uh -oh. All right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, maybe I shouldn't kill those things. <laughs> they only do is block and the projectiles for me. Do 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 do. No, no. Do not like those. Oh, the little fed dudes. These guys are our bros, right? They're the ones that opened the door for us last time. Fit man. April fourteenth, two thousand fifteen. You can see the pillars in the distance, so at least you know. Oh, 2025, that's two years from now. Hmm. 
pew, 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 pew. Uh oh. Yeah, I think the big problem that I have with these types of bullet hell games is I always watch like where I'm shooting instead of why is shooting me. <laughs> you know, cause cause what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to watch your ship, right? And you're supposed to it's open. Exit route secure. Dodge, I say you dodge. Um but I always watch where I'm shooting, which is bad. It's good for fighting games, bad for uh, bullet hell. Proposal. Infiltrate the factory's mainframe and shut off the power. 9S, that Goliath we just encountered. I got it. I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm gonna shut off power to the factory now. Do it! Do it. Oh wow, that's a big one. It's like a whole battle. Factory this system at 20% control. You have to hold out for me, TV. Yeah, but you're supposed to watch yourself and dodge bullets, and then also sort of peripheral out where you're shooting. And I just don't have trouble with that multitasking. Although I'm doing all right right now, which is stupid. I hate that. Like when I want to try and say something, and then I oh there we go. Oh, that one creeped up. <laughs> Factory system at fifty percent control. Now we just have to do something about this core. Right, I could have done that fight. 90%. 92. 95. 98. Fuck. Oh my god, this is so fast. It's like slightly faster than I can move. <laughs> Bad at this dude. To be, I just shut down the electrical grid. Good job, Nine. Nine is the Phantom. Yeah, I did this fight completely in the dark before I found out that you could turn on the flashlight on your robot. <laughs> To me, I love you. After a long period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. This guy needs to learn how Release to do me poetry. from my yoke of iron. Just, ooh. Thus shall our souls be saved. Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. No? Very well. Those were the words I heard in the moon server. But why? Alert. 2B has defeated the Goliath class heavy weapon unit. Good job, Tube. Mm. Ah, right. Okay, good. Nine S. Commander. I'm sorry. You're needed back at command. Understood. What kind of throws me off is that this whole place is in black and white. I don't know if that's significant or if that's just artistic. Ooh, hey girl. You left quite a trail when you accessed the main server. <gasps> You That's what I wanted it. to speak with you about, Commander. <laughs> I found records stating that the Council of Humanity was established as part of Project Yorha. But I'd always heard it was the other way around. So did Yorha actually create the Council of Humanity? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. We installed the Council of Humanity's server on the surface of the moon. Oof. But that means mankind no longer exists. Yeah. Oh. In truth, humans never went to the moon at all. Any transmissions received from the moon are just dummy signals we set up in advance. The only thing there is a small bit of data relating to the human genome. But why would you... Humans were already extinct when the aliens attacked. All the details are stored on this memory chip. If you want to look at it, I won't stop you. Gotta say, I sort of saw that coming. 
Yeah, it's, it's really weird that this is the way that they drop that bomb on you. <laughs> Wait, you're just giving me this? But why? No one fights without a reason. And we need a god worth dying for. Man, this helmet is buggy as fuck. What path will you take? It's up to you to decide. Why? Why did you have to die? I am not fair. My only brother. Damn them. I'll kill them. I swear I'll kill them all. The human race is gone. <laughs> For the glory of mankind. <laughs> All right, let's take this helmet off. I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. Get off. How do I tell to be? Oh, there's color. Look, color. Combat stations. I better get them. Uh. Alert. Mission orders received. Rendezvous with and support Unit 2B near the resistance camp. Any details? Large numbers of machine life forms are rampaging through the city ruins. What? How? They're supposed to be weakened. Cause unknown. Goliath class enemies also confirmed. Immediate action advised. I, I'm still thinking about that. It's like, would that be a freeing or liberating, or like a liberating or, or sort of like a existential crisis for these machines? Is the fact that you know their whole, you know, humans are dead. Actually, was I supposed to access that? Wait, you see that? There's like a ghost in the corner. No, it's probably a bug or something. It's not there in the cutscene. Communications are currently being jammed. Earth. We better hurry. Blow up the world. Detected nearby. She is likely engaged in combat. You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Uh oh. You'll die. All of you are going to die. <laughs> to me, you okay? I'm fine. Let's take this bastard down. Right. Wow, I, I don't know if it's, be, if it's because like I'm, I'm like I have a lot of levels or something, but 
doing a lot of damage. <laughs> a lot more than I was expecting to do. Like, I think this is supposed to be like a multi phase thing. Like, it's supposed to be difficult. I, it might be because. Well, no. Machine core, right? Machine. Uh, it might be because I had that, that XP boost on for so long, but. They're still coming? What do we do? There's too many. Tubi? Tubi, can you hear me? Our village is under. Whoa. Pascal? Pascal. Come in, Pascal. Pascal. Shit. Ooh. She's in a bad way. <laughs> Oh, that's right, everything here is trying to kill you. <laughs> so, I guess they don't really get much time to uh, do side quests now. <laughs> that's alright. Yeah, this is the part with all the robots, and they got like that little uh, electromagnetic bullshit. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk by them there. It's not very fun. You know what? Just because I'm feeling happy, I'm gonna take this off. I don't know why I put that there. Let's put it on that. That's weird. So there is a way to get there. I just don't know how to get there yet. I'm gonna keep him with the stick just in case he joins me next time and I get those damage numbers just Damn it! They're here too! Nine S! It seems the machines on the network have gone berserk. They've sealed off the entrance to the village sure. and are trying to hold them off, but with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first. Where's my witch time now? No. Destroy this presiding unit. Will it stop the rest? Most likely, yes. Pod, I need you to locate Eve's current position. Location has been detected and placed on map. We'll Look take care of Eve. You there. just worry about keeping the village safe, okay? Do be careful. Brother. <laughs> Like he's bombarding the area with forced connections. I think all these transmissions are making the machines go haywire. We have to find Eve and destroy him. On it. Nissan. What? 
soup. Ah, and here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now, everything must die! Mm, okay. Why did you kill my brother? I... I... Right, oh, okay. Run, what? Uh, <laughs> I can't say it's the worst boss fight mechanic. Dude, this guy's almost already dead. He's, he's the same level as I am. Seems to be coming from a large number of linked machine life forms. He's absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. Stop it. Damn it. We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shut oh, him yeah. down. I should have been hacking into me. him this whole time. <laughs> oh. I totally forgot about hacking. What a rough Whoa. Ah, oh, this is it. This is uh, the true boss fight. Shit. Stupid barriers. Do 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 do. I, brother. I, oh, brother. Why? Oops. Nissan. Ooh, is this information? Nope. It's just a hole. I needed nothing else. Oh, whoops. Oh, it looks like there's not really too much of a consequence for uh, getting hit. <laughs> a little embarrassing, but you know. It's not like you have to start everything over. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Disruption detected in one unit broken code. Self-consciousness data. Corruption potential critical. Evacuation recommended. Yeah. Not when I'm this far in. This is cool. It's like missing now. <laughs> My brother was everything to me. My life was contained in our moments. Alert. Corruption confirmed in Yorga Unit 9S's self-consciousness data. No. Immediate evacuation and treatment recommended. Yep. Just a little more. If I can remove Eve's object control function. Listen to me, Adam. I never disliked fighting, but I didn't want you to be hurt. And I especially didn't want to lose you. So let's go somewhere quiet. Together, my brother. Look, Eve's eating an apple. <laughs> Kind of strange though. Wow, I'm sure they'll get into that. Just 
talking about how they're modeled after humans, right? But humans don't exist anymore, so... Ooh. Oh, that's right. I can just uh laser. Laser and I'll make this one a actually I wonder. I, I really do wonder. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, look at that. That's that Soviet damage right there. <laughs> I can do this all day, buddy. Wow, it like completely shuts him down. He can't do anything. Things OP. Look at that! It doesn't even care about the. Alert. It's when you're tethered to somebody, you just go through. You're, you're invincible. Oh, okay. Did I die and not get my body back? Did that happen? I think... Okay, hold on. I gotta check. I didn't even check, because... Maybe that's why my bullet time's gone. No, because I was, I was doing the, um... Whatever, the, the Zelda sword... Dude, he's like completely shut down. He, he can't. <laughs> Nothing matters. You <laughs> don't say. Yeah. It, Pretty potent. Pretty Alert. potent. NFCS destroyed. Close range combat no longer operable. It's all because shit. It's not working. That's stupid. It's all because of you. <laughs> Fuck you, bad. Finally, it's 
it's over. Get that sweet, sweet, sweet satisfaction. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm a robot man. Beep, boop, beep. Damn, you're screwed up. I must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. No. It's okay. Shoot me I and that can always reload my backup data from the bunker. But you'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. Who cares? We can't upload this corrupted data to the bunker. Oh, so, oops. Nine S. <laughs> Please, to be. I want you to do this for me. That was one of the, the the ghosts that was that was in the hangar when I left. What the fuck's going on? Did they address that last time? I don't. Are those? Transmissions. They're resonating with each other. data in the machine side of things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. I'm glad you're okay.
And so, the final battle with Adam and Eve came to an end. This battle will likely have a great effect on the outcome of the war. To B and I, our battle will continue for some time to come. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> well, if I hadn't made enough uh, Shakespeare jokes by this point, the game just sort of killed it right there. <laughs> All right, hold the skip. I'm 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 excited to see what's next. Sir, yes, sir. Covering designated items, I. Hey, 2B. I was waiting for you. I needed to give you this. Then e drug logic. I gotta, I gotta start putting these things on, I guess. E drug. Say, 2B. Yes. Uh, no. Never mind. Just be careful. Planning preparations complete. Confirm equipment delivered to quarters. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, hey, I'm 2B again. I just realized. Preview? What? Remember your pain. The pain of having your homeland stolen. We will never give up our struggle. We will take back the seas, the skies, the land. We will take back our world Twins. from the scourge of the machines. We will not fail in this mission. Here and now, we will put an end to this goddamn war. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Yes. Ooh. A G T A B G T W. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, I get a new backdrop. Huh. Okay, let's see. So, I can either continue this right now, but this would be a good stopping point. And then I could... Yeah, you know what? I think, ugh, even though I don't... I kind of want to play it, but... You know, I'll, I'll just stop. Let's stop right now. Uh, so I'll pause on this game. I'll play something else in a little bit. I'll get some coffee and some food and stuff like that. And um, I'll just play something tonight. Uh, and then we'll pick this up tomorrow. Because now I'm like super interested. And I don't I don't want to play this outside of a stream. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be, I'll be back with something else in a little bit.